Hi everyone, my name is John. I'm from the Windup team, and today I will be giving you a walkthrough of the new Windup Eclipse plugins. Now, if you're not familiar with Windup, it's a command line tool that greatly simplifies the process of migrating Java applications. An example of this would be you have a web application, a Java web application, and it's currently configured to run on Oracle's WebLogic application server and you want to make the necessary changes to that application so that it can now run on Red Hat's enterprise application platform. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to install the plugins into Eclipse. So I have a couple of IDEs running here just to kind of give you an example of the different options you have in terms of installing Windup. The first is to install it via the update site mechanism, which everyone should be familiar with. So you'll go here, you'll add Windup and you'll add Windup's update site, which is this one. And you'll add it there, and then you'll click Install, and it'll install. The other option is if you're running Dev Studio, you can go to Red Hat Central, go to the software update, and you can just search for Windup, and you'll see it within there. Okay, so once you get it installed, you'll be greeted with the intro page, and you'll want to select on the Getting Started. That'll bring you to the Windup perspective. Now I'm going to switch over to an IDE that I already have running with some projects in it. And I'm already on the windup perspective. And the first thing you're going to see within here is on the left hand side you have an issue explorer. You have a couple other views in here but basically it's pretty simple. Windup, there's not a whole lot to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're in here is you're going to want to start windup. So windup runs it's a command, as I mentioned earlier, it is a command line tool, but it also runs in server mode for the sake of working with uh, Eclipse. So we're going to go ahead and start it up. Depending on your machine, this startup time might vary. Okay. And next thing you want to do is you need to import a project into your Project Explorer if you haven't, or into your workspace if you haven't already. I already have a project in here. So I'll, I have a project in here and I have a file. This is a WebLogic servlet, okay? And I want to just give you a quick example of what it looks like to migrate this one file so that it can run on Red Hat's EAP 7, okay? Right now it's clearly configured to run on WebLogic. So what you're going to want to do in typical Eclipse fashion is in order to run something within Eclipse, you need to create a run configuration. And to do that, there's a couple of different ways of doing it. One is to go up through, for example, here. This might vary depending on your Eclipse installation. Go to your run configurations, find windup within the list here, click add and to create a new one. The other option is from within the issue explorer here, you can click on this little bird icon. It will automatically just create your run configuration. Now within here, this is where you're basically going to set up how you want Windup to run, the things you're going to want, want Windup to do and to analyze. The first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to say that this is a WebLogic application and I want it to be migrated to EAP7. The next thing is I want to specify what projects that I want to migrate. And that file was in Demo2, so I'm going to go ahead and specify Demo2. And if I wanted to further refine what packages to analyze, I could do that from here, but I'm not going to do that. I want to generate a report and I don't have any custom rules right now so that's really all I need so let's run it and again the time it takes to run the analysis may vary depending on your machine
Okay, so the first thing you probably notice is this issue explorer gets populated with some items there and also this report. So you get the report from within the IDE as well, so you'll get those details. And in terms of the issue explorer, that's really going to show you what needs to be changed in order for this application to be a, to be migrated. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to expand everything here. So right now they are organized by severity, things that are optional, potential issues that might may or may not be, need to be changed, uh, as well as mandatory changes. And these are all um, basically generated and matched from different rules. So the first thing we want to do is let's just open up that one of these issues. And so this one says, okay, there is a proprietary servlet annotation. This one says, okay, there is a JNDI lookup call here that needs to be changed. And the, the issue explorer is also going to kind of help you with how to how to fix these issues. So any issue that you see here with a, a light bulb behind behind it will indicates that there is a fix available for it, meaning that if you right click on it, you can actually apply a quick fix. And a quick fix is basically something that just says, hey, there, there's an automatic fix that we can we have a chunk of code that you can either replace it with or some other thing that you can that we can do to transform this this block of code so that it's fixed. And here this one is to say, okay, look, we just need to swap it out with this web server annotation. And we can apply the fix and be done. Other issues, like for example, this JNDI lookup, it doesn't have a quick fix available for it. So you're pretty much on your own and you also want to look maybe in the documentation. You can get more help from this by going into the issue details. This view here, that's what it's for. And you could go here, you can also open up this link in your browser to get more information on, on how to fix this. And once you've, once you've figured out how to fix it, you would make your changes and then once you're done with that, you could just mark this issue as fixed. Marking it as fixed basically is more of your own housekeeping thing. It's just so that you know what you've fixed, what you've changed, and what you have not. You know, this is helpful with a large application where you have many changes that need to be done and you don't really want to mentally keep track of what you've changed and what you have not. The other thing is, is let's say there's an issue that no longer is a problem or you don't want it to convolute this, ish, this view here, so you want to just delete it. So you can do that. You just right click on it and delete it. That'll just remove it from the view. It doesn't change any, any code. So let's go here, let's go back to this guy and let's replace this. Let's, let's preview the quick fix and let's apply it. So that's basically what needs to be done. It automatically marked as fixed and said, okay, this, this issue has been fixed. Although we would want to import, fix this uh, import here. So let's go, let's bring this up in the details. So I'd open that up. And I've already looked at this one before, so I already know what I'm looking for here. So I, would, I only need that import. And I don't have, of course, I don't have these classes on the class path. So it's still going to be a compilation error, but at least you can see. So we would do that. And then, so once we did that, so now let's say hypothetically we had a lot of issues in here and we just, we just did the same thing. We went through them, fixed them, and so forth. Now we want to run windup again. So we rerun windup. That'll remove all those issues and it'll reanalyze the code to see what issues are remaining. Okay, and that's it. And as you can see, the WebLogic servlet here did not get marked with any issues again. Um, and this is still an issue because we didn't fix it. We didn't change the code. So that's, uh, that's the first step in migrating an application. That's one step uh, in the right direction. So if you, want to, if you have any questions or you want to reach out to the team, the windup team, you can find us at windup.jboss.org and as well as on IRC at Pound Windup. Thanks for watching.